Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the next episode of the Scavenger series. Last time, we went and found a bunch of materials and the sledgehammer to finally get the defective wall unlocked. So let's finally do that. Let's get this upgraded to the next level. We just need the metal scissors and the tool set so we can upgrade this once again. This is going to take another three hours, and I need to find that fleece fabric. So that's what we're going to be focusing on today. We're going to get the wires that we also made from last episode. And I did drain one of the fuel containers all the way down. A little too much for the second one, but still enough to do some crafting. Those should be fine. Beyond that, today we're still on the, the hunt for the insulated tape because we need to make some more hoses. And we're also on the hunt for just insulated tape itself because we need that for the upgrade on the, I believe it's the gym. And then we're also looking for the metal parts. I believe that was all and also the batteries we're also looking for the batteries because we need them for the vents we need two more batteries one more motor and then metal parts because we need metal parts also for the upgrade on the gym as well so that is our goal for today that being said we're gonna head out and we're gonna start looking for these items as per usual i think i'm gonna start on streets because the streets is just a really good map to locate a lot of these items so let's head out and let's do this are you ready? Alrighty then, let's get started on the adventure. What do we got? We do not have a lot of room, I can tell you that. <laughs> That's the first thing I can tell you right off the bat. We need to find a bigger rig, a bigger backpack. But let's go first start off by doing a little bit of searching. I'm also going to go see if the Skybridge key is here. Oh, what the heck is going on over here? That's behind us. Not over here, though. The way I just came from. That's where it sounds like it's coming from. Maybe not. Maybe that you know it could actually be over at the. Oh, what you call it? Um, over the construction site. It's probably where it's coming from. Probably end up taking the mall out. This is no. It's the next one. Right here. See the sky bridges here. If it is, we'll check for some okay loot. Check the bag as well. Ooh, Baker's book. Oh, why couldn't I find that on my uh, my rag to riches? Uh, we had it once on that account, but then we ended up uh, dying, <laughs> to say the least. Oh, that was not fun. Which unfortunately made it not useful useful to us anymore. The tragedy truly is. Let's go check the skybridge first. And then let's also see if we can find a dead body or two. And maybe get some upgrades. I really need those upgrades. Doesn't look like I'm gonna get any though. Uh we gotta go this way. Skybridge entrance is over here. Jump up here. Strange this door is still closed. Possibly the loot's available. Granted, like high valuable loot is not really like useful to us on this account. Like this is a different type of playstyle. Like this is not exactly, you know, what you would normally do. So like high tier loot is nice, yes, for certain situations, but it's not like the it's not the end all be all type of situation that we need. Check this place out. Give us some good stuff. But, I mean, stuff like this at the Skybridge is kind of fun. I don't really go up here very often, so being able to see if anything cool is up here is nice. Caps, I don't need those. Nothing on there. Nothing in the fireplace. I almost passed the bedroom. Let's check this. Oh, we got a chain. Chain, chain, chain. Is that all we're going to find? It may be, it may be the only thing we find up here. Nothing inside there, nothing on the shelf. Where are you shooting? Where are you shooting? He's shooting at something below us. So there's a player near us. Come on, show yourself. I 
This is actually not that I'm condoning it, but this is a very good spot for people to sit. <laughs> it's it's got good cover from both directions from like people rushing that direction, people rushing that direction, and then you got kill zone here, and you got a kill zone right here. I am no way condoning that though. Did I just hear somebody? Hmm. May have been hearing myself there. And there's nothing else here. Okay. Kick down the door. Yeet. We'll make our way down there. Sadly, I don't think we're going to find a big backpack in this area. We'll have to go searching. I guess the... Construction site would be a good place to go check. So we'll look there as well. Did you kill someone? I don't think you did. You were definitely shooting at somebody though. But before we actually go over to the construction site, let's go check out the cabins over here. Cabins for ooh, this door is closed. Why is this door closed? Oh, Sorry, dude. Take that. Drop this, drop this, take his rig. How many mags do you have? Do you have two? Oh, you do, cool. This may have been the guy that he was sh that was uh, shooting, or the scab was shooting, and I should say. Mm, get the spark plug for now. Okay, little upgrade. I'll take it. Search all these up. Ooh, camera. Again, this is for security three. I don't know if we could actually do security three. <laughs> I don't think we did it in the last series. But maybe we can. I'll grab it just to have it, obviously. LCD. That's also for the third part of the security. Check over here. So the check these are full. They are full indeed. Okay, so that's another key for for this map. Again, we were discussing about how like maybe I would try that, but I think for now let's just let's just hold on to it for now and let the uh, PMC get the XP from it. Hard drive, no, thank you. But if you want to keep me giving me metal parts, I won't say no to that Tarkov. Insulated tape would be cool too. You know these little things here and there. We've got all the lighters, so we don't need any more of those. Wreck battery. I think also today we're gonna we're gonna head over to reserve after this one So we're gonna go see if we can find that last sail wall. We need one more sail wall and then we can turn the task for our first task over to therapist Cabin key I can say this if anything we'll have a bunch of keys for our, our PMC to do whatever with which will be very nice Let's check these out. Give us what we desire, which is insulated tape. Gas station key. GPX. Wilson's. Where are they, Scab? You're screaming. You're angry at somebody. Oh, you killed somebody. Oh, you killed a hatchling. Yes, you did. Very good. Very good. 
Okay, he's not a hatchling. He had a rifle, but pretty much a hatchling at that point. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go check over here in this little corner building. There's often items that, like, are scattered along the side. So we'll see if there's a chance of finding the insulate tape, hoses, and also defuel. It has all been opened up, but there's a dead body in here. Hello. I'll take your backpack as an upgrade. Drop that, drop the chainlet, drop that. Uh, yeah, let's do it. I have enough backpacks to last us a very long time, so we don't need to grab any more. Like, we don't need to take that other one as an extra. Surprised I actually heard him from that distance. Did they take everything in here? It looks like they did. We'll grab the armor as well. Oh, I have armor rig. Um, that's fine. We'll just keep using what we're using. Ball grenade. I'll take that. Check these. Oh, they've already looked at these. Sorry, sorry, my bad. Scared the crap out of me, man. I <laughs> just killed the PMC. <laughs> Bro. Do you have a heavy bleed? Uh, I think I do. Oh, you son of a gun. I don't think I actually even hit that scav. I bet you I didn't. Do I have a heavy bleed? Son of a gun. I don't know if I can even blame. Oh, no, it was a player. What? One of the more clever, like, PMCs I've ever seen. He was wearing basically an outfit that looked like a scav, which it completely threw me off because I was like, oh, you're just a scav. I'm not going to shoot you. Uh, turns out, nope, definitely a player. <laughs> definitely a player. So we got bamboozled. Uh, we are coming to reserve here because we're going to go look for the medical item that we're missing. Uh, but we're also just going to just... Do what we were doing before, and hopefully we actually find some items that'll be useful. Because that was embarrassing for me to go back. I was too embarrassed to go back to streets right now. Maybe later. But we should be able to pretty much find the exact same things coming over to reserve that we were trying to find. It's got everything that you pretty much could need. This comes down to the RNG, which doesn't everything in this in this game come down to RNG. Give me something good, please. Just a bunch of cigarettes. Okay, let's go check all the bags, check all the coats. Hopefully we get lucky what we're looking for. Money. I'm also coming here to see if we can find, like, BPXs and stuff like that. Maybe they'll come in use later on. Some cords. That was weird. I was like, I wasn't able to scope in there for a minute, so I'm, like, trying to scope in, and it's like, uh... No, no, you can't do that. Search this. All right, well, we're finding things. Now, are these things useful for me? Not really. So we'll come over to the Black Knight, and we will check to see if we can find the items inside of the rooms here. Since there's a billion different, there's a billion different type of cabinets we can check. 
As long as they haven't been searched. Screw nuts. Hello, Scav, to my left. But nice to have you. Are you here to protect me? I would appreciate that. Thank you for so much for the protection. You know, I noticed too, we didn't actually get any extra scab rep for killing that PMC, so he must have not killed any scabs. I think that's a hit and a miss thing for this game. I really feel like if they want to make it worth it to do scab runs and like, I feel like for your scab rep wise, you, you should be able to get immediate points no matter what if you kill a PMC. It's kind of ridiculous yet that you only get it if it's like a helping scav situation. Because you're taking on, you know, a player that's way better gear than you, normally. And that, I don't know, I just feel like it needs to be changed. I, I may put that as a suggestion on their Reddit or something, because if you if you sw switch that up, then it makes it more of a benefit to be a scav. Now I know that they probably want more, obviously more focus on the PMC, but there are people that legitimately, like, like all the comments I see all the time, People legitimately just play this game to scav because they enjoy it so much. Matches, matches, matches. All day long. I don't need your matches. I need your insulated tape and keck tape. I'll take the keck tape too. I'm not a monster. I'll take the keck tape, of course. I'm guessing they checked the jackets only? Because that's like the only thing that's been checked in here, it seems. All these, all these drawers still have everything in them. Albeit, not very good items, but items nonetheless. But we'll take what we can find. Come on, give us what we're looking for. And... Middle parts, nice. At least we get the middle parts. That, that is a little, bit, a little bit something, at least. Baker's book again. I'm going to have to start searching more cabinets on on my uh, other account to be able to find that baker's book because I cannot for the life of me find another one of those but yeah I can find two in a row here look at that Let's see what else you can give us SNT we'll take that bunch of shooting going off I honestly thought about also going to the lighthouse since we had a sniper I was like oh this would be a good way to get road kills but I'm really not really in the mood for going ro for rogues right now. Plus, like I've always said, it's a hit and miss type situation doing those. You can sometimes get really lucky, or sometimes the rogues will get ticked off for you for no reason. <laughs> like early on, I'm saying. Obviously, we would try to kill them ourselves for the items they have, but yeah, let's check this. Uh, master, we already have one of those. Okay, let's go over to the medical side. Because we are going to go check to see if we can get our hands on one more Sailawa. If we don't find it here, we have a bunch of other med spots we can check. Plus, we also have... There's like that hallway down in the bunker that we know about. That has like one or two spawns for medical supplies as well. So we'll check there as well. Check these. See what kind of weapon mods we can get. There should be ones that may be useful for, you know, for doing the gunsmith parts. Check here. Nothing, nothing. Hey, we got a helmet. A little bit of protection. No seal of What we got? Chocolate and TP. No, thank you. There's our seal of Cool. And that's the last one we need for the turn in. We can finish our first task. Looking forward to that. Nothing inside of here. What about here? Okay. And nothing in here. Okay, let's go across the way. Um, since we found that, do we have the hole in the wall at the mountainside? We do. We're going to grab food then. And we're going to go downstairs and check a few different spots for some possible chances of finding some more, like, tape and whatnot. But the main goal was to get the sail wall. And that's really what I wanted. Check this. Okay. Is there any food in here? Surprisingly not, actually. Okay. 
Well, let's come down below. Let's check all the different food containers. Hopefully we can find a bunch of different food. I think I see some to my left there. Hey, look at that. Uh, I'll take it. It's, it's going to be sprats, but we can at least get identified. I'm actually going to take the old place. I, I don't really want... Actually, you know what we should do? I lied to myself. I'm going to take that, actually. Because when we get Jaeger unlocked, we're going to need to have items to turn into him anyway. And, well, lunch boxes are one of the things we have to turn into him. So we might as well have it ready to go. Grab all this as well. Move these down. I really don't need duct tape, but I'm just grabbing what I can grab. Got more oats. You know what? I could also get the part of the crap where task finishes as well. Get the shotguns ready to turn in. We haven't really gotten any shotguns at all yet this season, so... I guess I could do the barter system on that to get the 133 shotguns. Because one of the tasks I will be doing, obviously, is to get his five five scav kills when we go out on the PMC. Oats, Tashanka, we'll take that instead. Oh, that literally passed the, the container. We got some rations in here. We got drink. A drink is actually not a bad thing to have. We have screw nuts at the moment, so we can drop those. Oop. This. Check in here. Insulated tape, please. A hose or more metal parts. I'll take any of those. Bolts. I'm good. I have a lot of bolts. And let's see what kind of rations they got left for us here. And if I was on the other cap, chocolate man, be good as well. Eel slams I don't actually need at the moment, so I'll take the salary. Is there any... Oh, there is. There's one more toolbox. Hmm. I can sell that at least. Make some money off of it. That's a gauge right there. Let's see what we can get inside of here. We got a helix. Okay, not really what I need. Do, do, do. Drop the diary. We'll take the gauge instead. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's we'll start heading to the exit and then. This is not a bad find, actually. A lot of this stuff will be nice. Ooh, metal parts. Even better. Take those. And off we go. It's so loud. Well, people will definitely be fighting over that. But we don't care. We're heading out of here. Taking a little bit of victory. See, when I said hideout, I meant stash. Because we don't have anything to the hideout to do just yet. Uh, let's take a look. We can get the sprats identified. Very good. We can go over to... Let's see here. Therapist task turn it in and completes very nice first amount of xp i will take that gunsmith part one introduction obviously is available for us at some points debut i'm just gonna get all those unlocked and whatnot and then like, like i said once we get jaeger unlocked we'll have the buckwheat to get the shotguns now granted if we fire the shotguns beforehand it's you know it's neither here nor there we'll just have it and it's be just you know, lucky for us to have but for now, I think that was really it. Yeah, because so we have a bunch of food now, which is really good. I toss all these into the junk box. I think that was it. Now, I think I've got all my respirators. It looks like all of them are now collected. This one can be deleted, actually. So we just needed four of the respirators for that task down the line. But I'm happy with that. Let's grab our reward. Grab that. Bunch of medical supplies. Very nice. Actually, those splints will come in handy for when we get the gem unlock, because... If we end up breaking our leg or anything like that, we're going to need those. They do actually come in a lot of handy. Uh, let's see. I'm going to guess it seems probably still got like two hours left on it. I had to stop for a little bit to take care of a couple things. Actually, maybe have an hour and a half left now I think about it. 
let's take a look 43 minutes left look at that all right well we really got to get a move on then we got to find these hoses we are currently oh we can make one all right this is gonna take three hours it's fine if i don't find any other hoses at least we have them ready to go afterwards however that means i need to find one more insulated tape then because i need that for the crafting part of it so we're not done we're not out of the woods yet ladies and gentlemen let's head out one more time we need to find the fleece and we need to find more hoses hopefully and we need to find the insulated tape did i say insulated tape twice i may have let's do this all right be a little nicer to me this time streets don't give me a guy that looks like a looks like a scab all right give me one that is gonna be nice and not shoot me after i try to give him some help Ooh, we have a key but outer key what the heck well all right then we have the key but outer key maybe we'll get the inner key you never know i think right now we're gonna focus on trying to get like any building tools and then we can start going towards the we can start going towards like the cabin so we'll not in a second but there are a few places around here i can do some looting that's mainly across the way here so let's go do some of that progress wise i think we're still doing great we're at episode six now yeah episode six and i think i think this is around the time we also got the gym up and running as well so we're we're kind of on like the same timeline which is in theory a good thing i'm kind of you know, keep up in in pace with the older other uh run that we did for the first season but we'll have to see uh, let's check upstairs there should be some loot for us to be had i'm gonna go that way we're gonna go this way let's check in here first give us the loot oh there actually is stuff in here okay Ooh, is this a battery please let it be a battery yes it is a battery good 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 that actually makes me very happy metal scissors we'll grab those and do we have any chance of getting more of the items we need let's check it out don't need duct tape cordia don't need that where's the fleece man i need fleece i've not seen fleece yet uh, we got bolts and there's a couple more rooms over here that have some spawns in them nothing on the table this time okay what about over here we got a survival lighter we don't need you metal parts i'll take you though and i think that is it okay let's head over to let's see what direction we're in right now i want to head over to the construction yard oh, we got fuel let me take that too let's yeah let's head over to the construction yard because we're gonna go see if we can get a few more boxes checked over there actually we need to go in this room here because there's one more tech box i gotta check I think we're okay okay we got some chances here i think we're good on tool sets i don't think we actually need any more although why don't we just in case we need it we'll take it just in case take you all right let's head out need to go this way right is this the way i want to go no 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 it's the other way other way i gotta go this middle area for some reason always confuses me where direction i'm supposed to be going but it's like over there or over here is like construction i'm gonna ca have to pass by like the more i guess run through area is that the way to go yeah run through area so we'll be a little careful about that oh you got a lot of stuff security got a hat glasses no nope. a lot of stuff but i didn't need any of that i think someone's going for the boss at least is what it sounds like any chance for any medical around here i could use like a sail oil or something nothing inside okay I guess not. Let's just skirt around the outside. I don't want to get involved with the action that's what's going on over there. Unless it comes to us. If it comes to us, then we'll definitely get involved. And I don't think the back alley has anything for us. So we can avoid that too. 
So that's, oh, you have another battery and I need that. We're taking that. Paracord. Okay. We are still gaining, gaining stamina. That's good. All right, this is very good. If I can actually get out with these two batteries, that is a big win for us. Peace. Explosions. What else you got for us? Yes, ammo. Yes, ammo is good, but we don't need it. Let's keep scooting around the sides here. Maybe people have killed some of the scavs too over at the construction site. Maybe a bigger backpack and rig. And then we keep the looting, or at least a bigger backpack. The rigs that we have is not actually that bad. We can hold quite a bit for us. Someone is fighting. They may be actually fighting the boss over there now I think about it. And I'm gonna guess sewer hole is our exit. Oh, it's actually not. Oh. Huh, I thought that would be it, especially where we spawned. We spawned in such an odd place. It's the ventilation shaft. I guess we can go there for our exit. I'm trying to think what the best way to get there is. Let me think about it. I'll figure out a way. Let's check this. Actually, just come, going back the exact same way we just came from is actually probably the best way to get to the exit. Got a CPU fan. Chlorine. Okay, let's get to the actual inside here. There should be some more stuff for us. Oh, metal parts. Literally sitting right there. Thank you. Now, if you could just give me one insulated tape, then I will be forever set and ready to go for my run. Can we make that happen, Tarkov? Ooh. See that gonna come this way? Actually, I'm gonna take a look at this quick because I think we're actually close by an exit. Maybe? Yeah, let me take a look at this real quick. So looking at the map, yeah, actually, there's no difference. <laughs> yeah, there's no difference. Did he kill that scab by chance? I don't think he did. No, he didn't. He did not. Let's keep searching. We got a lot of scabs here to protect us, at least. I really don't want anything except... Well, I mean, his money. Drop these mags, take this. But I really wanna just focus on getting that last single item we need. We can't find it within inside of the construction area here. There it is. Boom. It's like I called that explosion. Boom. All right, well, I actually think we're good. We can go inside real quick and see if there's anything in some of these other toolboxes while we're on our way out, but that's literally what I wanted to find and get out with. Well, we have a ton of a ton of items that are actually very good for us. Check this quickly. Ooh. Hello, hoes. I think you're listening to me, Tarkov. This is such a, such a great thing. We're out of here. We are out of here. So we're gonna literally take the exact same spot, that we're, or exact same way we came from. So I'm gonna go a little more to the right. Cause we gotta go to the, what do you call it? Um, I guess the theater? Is that like the theater over there? Yeah, it's like the theater place over there we gotta go to. I looked where the arches are at. The arches are literally pretty much where we would go for the parking lot for the Cardinal, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take the other way. I don't know where that other guy went. Like the, uh, the the PMC. He went somewhere, but I have no idea where. Should be able to pass through here at some point, right? Yeah, right there. 
I'm gonna take this back way though, because I prefer not to get shot. And it's gonna take us a minute to get there. Luckily, like, how much are we at? 45? I'm surprised our scab's actually holding up this well. Like, with the weight. I thought he was gonna have problems, like, carrying all this stuff. That we'd have to crawl and whatnot. But, no. Our man is doing good. Keep it up, bro. Keep it up. But this means a, a big things for us. One, this means the vents are finished now. So whenever we get the German Lant and we work on our endurance, and once we hit endurance level two, we are good to get the vents up and rolling, which is really, really big progress for us. And yeah, the insulated tape plus also get in the, the cord or the hose, I should say. I keep saying cord, but we get the hose. Again, that's another thing for us. Oh, was that a player I just saw? Well, we'll see. But those two items are going to be for the... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, for the, the gym. So this is all real good stuff. Let's go, go, go. Let's get the heck out of here. The ventilation should be somewhere right here on the left-hand side. So we'll just keep on pushing through. That may have actually been scabbed now I think about it. Try not to think too much about it. The ventilation shaft. So right here inside this field. Yeah, they're just very good. You lay down right here, and we are getting out. Whew. Big, big, big progress, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm happy about that. Now, if we go take a look at this now, let's go to the hideouts. Check out the wall. Look at that. Literally everything is ready to go. Oh, you'll love to see it. You'll love to see it. 12 hours, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> 12 hours. 12 hours to still give us a chance to find this dang fleece as well. But then we'll have this up and running, and we are in such good progress at that point. Oh, I'm excited. I am excited. Like I said, vents are all set other than the motor. Actually, I think I said they were fully done, but yeah, we need the motor. Generator 2. You're good there, but we need to get two motors then, if that's the case. And we still got to find the... Um, the Bulbex. Bulbex? Bulbex? Yeah, Bulbex. This should also be all set and ready to go. Oh no, the elite pliers, that's right, because I said we had to use one for this one. So we still gotta find one more elite pliers. So that being said, since we need two motors, we need elite pliers, uh, we're gonna head over in also the Bulbex. We could probably, we could probably find them also on Interchange too. So we're gonna head over to Interchange for our most likely Second to last raid, we'll see. It may be actually our last raid, depending on how long we're on it. But we're gonna head over there next and try to locate the rest of the items. Let's do this. We start in the heart of the mall. I like it. What do we got? No backpack. That's not a good sign. Well, we need to find one of those because pretty much everything that we have is gonna be very heavy. Um, actually, let's go back here quickly and see if there's any dead bodies. Please be one. That would be nice. Oh, I see a body. I see two, and they both have nothing. However, you do have a bigger rig, so we'll take that instead. It's gonna take one of the mags, leave the other one. Oh. Just a scab, we're good. All right, let's actually head over to Ollie first, and we'll see if we can find one a bigger backpack, and then we'll look for the motors. So we need to get two motors, we need to get ourselves insulated tape and of course any type of hose we can get our hands on now it's been a few hours since the last clip so the hoses are actually finished up inside of the oh there's an insulated tape the hoses are actually finished inside of the hideout those are all done but the gym of course is not is not finished up just yet we're still working on that one uh, let's see here we can go to the right here i suppose wait that's a DVD. Okay, never mind. I, thought, I was like, wait, am I getting, my, am I getting a cheeky grout fix card? I guess I am. <laughs> well, would you look at that? Um, wasn't expecting that, but I'll take it. <laughs> We're like 20 minutes in. How the heck is this thing still alive? Like in here, alive? How's it in this map still? I'm not complaining. I'll take it. 
Yeah, we're Gucci, man. Where's gonna be all these? Where's gonna be all these bodies? What's up, dude? What? Do I have any what? Black rock rig. Nah, I haven't seen one of those, man. Uh, maybe downstairs we can check for a body. Yeah, we can check for down downstairs. We can also just come over here quickly and see if there's a motor. Because, uh, I mean, technically speaking, we don't need to have a big rig for what we're doing right now. We can at least get just the motor, because we have a spot for it in this rig that we're wearing. So let me actually just quickly check over here. If they're not here, then, well, they're not on the map. At least in this general direction. They're usually like up here, behind this, and I don't see any of them. Hmm. What about over here? We'll check on this side first. Before we call the search of the motors off. There's also, I forgot the other one over here along this. I'll check it just in case. I do not see one. Nope. What up, brother? So, dude. Bolts. Oh, take it. Let's go downstairs. Yeah, let's go check for the body downstairs. Okay, so there's no motor here. Which makes me think maybe we should just go behind Goshen real quick. Loot that place up and see if there's a chance of finding something else. There's a body, but again, no backpack. So the scavs, man, they're loading in before me. Getting all the goodies. You know, you even have a rig. They robbed you blind of all your stuff. Same thing here. I gotta see an alive scab, obviously. If I was a dead player or scab, where would I be? Maybe idea. Maybe idea. Even though we're not going to be able to get what I'm hoping for, we can still get some other goodies out of this place. So I'm going to keep looking. I'm even tempted to just grab another... I mean, if I can find a bigger rig or finally find a backpack, just send over to the back of Goshen as well to get the food we need. What's going on here? It's a scav. That was a scav? They may, be, they may be hunting down the player. Well, while they're distracted, we'll go find someone else to loot. Like you. Like you. Oh, come on. No backpack on you either? Getting ridiculous with these no backpack things. Well, let's go this way then. Let's go check out Dino and see if we can also have a chance to find a fleece. Which, I don't think I see one, actually. No, there's no fleece. Curse you, eh? No, curse you, game, for not giving me any type of thing at all. Oh, someone's running up the escalator. That's just a scav. Okay. He doesn't have a backpack either, so I need to rush and find one. Quickly, before he finds one. It's a struggle out here, man. We're all looking for the same thing. Well, I mean, in a sense. We're all trying to be able to do some stuff here. Ooh, you gonna be a motor? You gonna be contacts. You know, I don't even like contacts here, so I'm not even gonna grab them. I can hear better without them. You have a backpack, but I will never murder one of my scab brethren. It's just not in my blood. Check over here. Nope, no one's dead over here either. 
is not a good run. What's oh motor? This is an okay run, I suppose. <laughs> Let's grab the motor. Okay. Now what we can do is, is at least since they found the motor, that's something. Check this corner and check there. There we go. What I'm gonna do then is just go to the back of the mall and just look for the elite flyers and we'll call it good. And we'll come back from for another run. Maybe we get lucky. Maybe we don't want we'll to see. Don't see anything else here though. Oh, well, let's keep going. I think the best part though about getting like the system open for leveling the, the PMC open is just like my favorite part because of like this whole series because I can actually show people how it works because everyone like you'd be surprised the amount of people that commented that were like this there's no way this is gonna work you can't do that you just might as well end the series now this thing ain't gonna happen but then but then we proved them wrong so for those that have never seen season one of the scavengers you get to see probably next episode yeah actually it's probably gonna be the next episode we're gonna we're gonna start having the XP flow you'll be able to see exactly how this works it's not the most glamorous thing in the world it does take still a long time but it's still possible and it's to me it's interesting how we do it it's possible if you give it a try uh, what do we got duffel bag okay someone's been through here obviously we'll just take the max energy and that to the all the other food because we're gonna need a ton of it I also tried a theory I think I was talking about this last season and I never actually like talked about it or it never came up again afterwards but I actually did ch test my theory of the grenade I was like I wonder if I could take a, a grenade to the shooting range drop it and blow myself up or get a little bit of damage well that bit that theory unfortunately did not work so we're still trying to figure other ways too that we can earn XP while like outside of a raid I'm sure there's other ways to still do it other than identifying items and stuff like that like the standard ways I should say like you know ways outside the standard like norms Ooh, all right we got two tape I will take that we got some measuring tape there's probably a body out here with a backpack We'll see what happens. Although this place has been pretty, pretty looted. I don't see the point for us to still continue this. Because even in Ollie, Ollie was pretty, pretty dried up too. Yeah, not like how like less amount of loot we have. But there's no like fighting. Where's all the dead scabs? All the dead players? There's nobody, man. It's like these people got in, got out cleanly without actually having to get into any action. So, that being said then, why don't we go over to these hidden stashes on the side? Try to get something interesting out of this run. All these scabs, man. Everyone's alive. Yeah, let's go with this dude. Let's follow him and figure out if there's anything. Oh, jeez, there's even more. The scab army, man. It's real. Oh. Huh. Oh, he's a player. That's got to be a player. Does he jump it? Yeah, that's a player. <laughs> I don't know if he actually checked these or not. He may have. No, this one's not even here. What about the other? Oh. Well, this one's not even here either. Huh. Then it's not even worth it. We might as well just take what we have and get out of here. Let's search this little table here, some or concrete slab, I guess would be the, the term for it. Nothing on that and nothing on the pallets. Okay, well, unfortunately, not our best run we've ever had. Actually, it's probably one of the more weaker runs we've had, other than the one where we blew up. <laughs> that was a run. That was an, a run. But we didn't, or when we not blew up, but when we broke our legs, that was an interesting run for sure. Oh, he's the... Oh, I'm the only dead body? Oh, I'm so mad. Uh, oh, well. Anyway, let's get out of here. And we're on to the next one. Decide against the last run. We're just going to leave that for the next episode. Because we have a ton of time left in this episode. And there's not really much we can do at the moment. We're, we're still looking in a good spot. Um, but I wanted to kind of just 
chill off right now. We'll come back for the next one. What are we at right now? How are we only at 0 0.47? Or sorry, yeah, 0 0.47. How are we only at that? I feel like we've done a few more than that. That's fine. Definitely, it's fine. We got some stuff coming up soon, especially with all the other stuff getting upgraded. We'll have the intelligence center as well, and we'll be able to get that upgraded. And then we'll start a. So I think it's level five. We can start working on the fence tasks. So we'll actually start to be able to get more points from that, which will be really nice. But for now, we'll take it for what it is. I think the laboratory is all finished. We'll take a look real quick at that, just to see if everything is ready to go. It is okay. So we can grab those guys so now we have that I can technically i should start no one i already got enough of the insulated tape huh i'm gonna hold on to because i need to save one Ooh. however i can do this craft i can get a magazine case hmm. tempting very tempting or i could do a grenade case I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait and think about it. See which one we decide to do. I also wanna make sure I'm gonna have enough materials coming up for the inside of the defective wall and also make sure everything else is good to go. But that being said, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna end it here and move on to the next episode. So if you guys enjoyed today's episode of the Scavenger series, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below what you enjoyed about the episode, what you're excited about for the future. If you haven't yet, subscribe, ding the notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next one.